Hey guys, Joseph Webster here. I was just gonna take a minute here and give you a little rundown on some swim jigging and show you kind of what I do and how I do. It's not real complicated. I keep it kind of simple. You know, if you're fishing dark colored water, maybe, you know, see a couple feet, something like that. You know, you, you probably want to go to something swimming type tail bait, just kind of, you know, matching maybe bluegill, maybe even a crawfish, but you know, you, you just slide this thing on there and you can turn it two ways. You know, one of these tails like this right here, you can turn it sideways, crossways, but most time on a swim jig, I'm trying to keep it in some shallow water, keeping it up, especially shallow grass, what we fish a lot. You know, something like that right there, you know, that could be a bluegill, crawfish, whatever. So, you know, let's go to some dirty water. I mean, where you're seeing a foot deep, got a lot of color. You know, you might even want to go to a wider chartreuse, you know, with something a white. So, you know, what you're wanting to do there is just move a lot of water. Keep it up high, moving water, and you'll mo most of the time see those fish come and get that thing. And I mean, most time it's back in the grass deep, something like that. So, let's move on maybe to the shad spawn fishing docks. So, if you was fishing some docks, skipping docks, you would more want a shad style bait, something like this right here, something that, you know, you want a tail just like a shad kind of moving around. So, Smith Lake, something like that, I do that a lot throwing under them docks, skipping them docks, or, you know, anywhere in the country you're going to have a shad spawn. You just, you know, you kind of want to match the hatch, you know, something just where they're looking like shad, anything like that. So, you know, there's a lot of different options. There's three, you know, three quarters. You can go out deep with them, halves. Most of the time, you know, I'm pretty, keep it to a three-eighths if I'm fishing shallow. It skips better. It does everything. A lot of times you fish out deep, brush piles or whatever, you know, you can throw a three-quarter ounce jig, anything like that. And really just slow it down because you know the body of these jigs kind of represents the the body of a thread fin shad or a perch or anything like that so jigs has got a lot of different options and water columns to fish it in so you know half ounce maybe you know swimming it around stuff like that and some of these deeper docks trying to get it down but you know the three eighths if you're going to go to shallow you know grass wood something like that three eighths is going to be what you want and just kind of keep it up just keep it moving and try to just get a little bit of a reaction bite. So, and and you know, on these trailers that you use a lot of times on these swim jigs, these kind of crawls, if you turn them flat where they're catching a lot of water, it helps keep your bait up high. So, you know, around docks and stuff, you want something that's kind of swims with the bait, lets it fall more natural, something like that. So, you know, you just, there's a lot of different tails and crawls and you know, swim bait, stuff like that you can put on there and, and you can really match what you're trying to, you know, fish for and what kind of, you know, shad, crawfish, whatever, what you're trying to match. There's a lot of options in swim jigs.